On March 20, 2007, the remains of Sichi Bustamante Gandinao, a leader among farmers, was buried in Salai Misamis Oriental in Mindanao. Ansel Mito, her husband, who was with her when she was killed, would tell and retell what he witnessed to everyone who came to the wake. Before the funeral, her daughter Elda asked the grandchildren to bring some flowers with them. Maria got a bunch of gladiola. Then the coffin was brought out of the hut through the window and was carried to the church for a memorial service. At the church, Maria watched as people came to pay tribute to her grandmother. She recognized many of them as her grandmother's companions at rallies. Maria would tag along with her grandma at rallies. She remembered those giant flags dancing in the wind. She remembered her Lola Sichi always wore a red scarf over her head to these gatherings. During one rally, she saw young girls like her perform. While her Lola carried a placard protesting against the use of pesticides, and her Lola's friend carried another placard demanding for higher wages for workers. Someday, Maria wished that she too would bring her own placard and perform during a rally. At the public cemetery, family members gathered around Gandinao's coffin. Maria saw her mother Elda and her aunts began to cry. As the coffin's viewing window was sealed, Maria's mother wailed, covering her face with a handkerchief. Maria watched them from afar as she stood at a distance from the rest of the family. Maria's three cousins, flowers in hand, went near the edge of the pit and as the coffin was lowered into the gaping hole, threw the flowers into the pit. Then the men started to cover the hole with loose earth. Maria stepped back from the edge of the hole. The next few days, Maria felt so sad and lonely. Now, she thought, she does not have a Lola anymore who will bring her to rallies and marches. A week later, at the therapist's clinic, Maria felt safe to tell the doctor about her nightmares. She said that in her dreams, the sky turned black and a big black tree grew from the ground. Another time, she dreamed she saw her grandmother had surfaced from the underground. Her head was cracked like an eggshell and orange flowers were growing like a snake around her broken head. The therapist gave Maria some crayons and a piece of paper so she can draw while the therapist talked to her mother in another room. The next time Maria visited the therapist, she again drew with crayons. The last time Maria went to the therapist, she told the therapist that her grandma's friends had brought her to a march in honor of people like her grandma Sichi who are heroes. She said he, she carried a placard too that said, we must stop killing people. She also told the doctor that she dreamed that night of her grandma's spirit roaming in the hills and there orange flowers were everywhere. The last time Maria drew with crayons at the doctor's office, her sunflowers had blue leaves. The girl was no longer wearing a red dress. A house had, had a red roof and the car had red wheels. And the kid that Maria said was actually she had red hair that according to her is actually her grandma's red scarf. Ah! Uh -huh.